Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Conga CPQ, we have seen how different types of product can be configured using Conga CPQ, which includes configuring a standalone product, an option product, and a bundle product. Now, what we are going to learn today is while configuring a bundled product, right, there are several options available, there are functionalities available, right? How can we use them and create a well-defined structure as well as we can uh, see the usage of this different different functionalities available on that product configuration screen or we can say bundle configuration screen. So this was the agenda that we had last time, like what are product types of product, how to configure them, we have reviewed the configuration as well. So I'm just skipping those as of now. Uh, these are types of product as we talked about standalone option and bundle right and now we are going to see how the bundle configuration option or the options available on configuration page can be used so let's review that so i am on a bundle configuration page the bundle name is laptop we have added couple of option groups this option group contains two product this one contains one so we'll start from this content type so there can be three values over here content type option which which means like we'll be showing options over here right on this particular option group content type attribute that means we'll be showing attributes on that page and there is content type detail that means we'll be showing some detail related to that product on that page now over here there is something called min option and max option so i have selected one one over here or added one one over here and let's see what it makes I'll go over here and I'll configure the laptop. As soon as I come over here, I can see our options got loaded, but I can select only one of them, right? And that is what being carried out or that is what being the functionality of this main option and max option. That means you can select minimum one, you can select maximum one. Let me make it 0, 2 and let's see what happened. Okay, I'll just save this. I must click this update view button in order to get these changes in effect. What I'll have to do is I'll have to again refresh the page and these two things are mandatory, right? Otherwise you'll not see your changes in your catalog or bundle configuration. So I'll just go to product setup, I'll configure this and when I come over here, right, I can see checkboxes now, right? So I can minimum select zero i can see i can select none of them as well as i can select multiple as well okay so that's the use of mean option and max option i have minimum total quantity and maximum total quantity as well so what i'll do is for time being i'm putting two and i'm putting six over here and i'm saving it and i'll just do an update view now what does this mean so let's just check it out Yes, I'll just remove the line. I'll refresh the page to get the latest context of the bundle configurations. And let's see. So I'm on product setup. I'll go to laptop and let's see what comes over here. So I can select multiple products over here. But you see, as soon as I selected this, it says like the minimum quantity for this particular option group is two. Since or we have selected only one product and the quantity of the product is one, we are getting this message. But as soon as I make quantity as two, the message will be gone. Now, what I'll do is I'll make it one and I'll select this mouse. So again, the message got disappeared because this option group contains two products and each having one quantity. So the total quantity of the option group's product became two. And our minimum quantity is also two. So that's where the error got hidden. Now what I'll do is I'll let's say have it quantity as four and I'll make the quantity as two. Again, I'm not seeing the message because my maximum quantity is six and what that is what I'm selected over here. As soon as I make it more than six, we'll see an error message. You see, the total maximum quantity allowed for this option group one is six. So that is how we can control the option or total option group level quantity as well. Now, there comes something like, I'll remove this to show you the other usages. And there's something called is hidden. So what does it do? So as name suggests, it will hide this option group. Okay. 
from the configuration page so I'll just refresh this and let's see I'll go to product setup I'll configure this and you see option group 1 is hidden right? so that's the use of that is hidden checkbox now there is something called is pick list and I'll just save it as soon as I save it I'll have an error message that max option must be equal to 1 when pick list is selected ideally when a pick list is there we can only select one option right so that's where we have to select max option as 1 I'll click the update view I'll just refresh the page and we'll see how that looks like okay so I have just refreshed the page I am on the selection screen I'll configure the product and I can see a pick list right so I can select any of them whatever I want to select and then I'll get proceed with the pricing as well so that was the use of is pick well what I'll do is I'll just uncheck this and we'll move forward to this one we'll cover this at last so there are several options available. you can add product from here you can remove the product right you can select and click remove it will remove the products from config screen we can reorder like if you want this option group to visible first and this to last then you can change that and then on the edit screen you have different different options so very first thing is default now what does that mean okay so that means like whenever we are configuring a bundle structure these two products gets selected by default so let me refresh the page let's see the product configuration when we move to the bundle structure okay so i'll just configure this and you see this got selected but over here you should be having min option and max option as two right because that's where we can have the default one right previously it was zero and one and that's where we were seeing this two radio buttons okay and both check right so that's kind of a bug that we can see but yeah it is it is what it is so i'll just refresh this and let me go to the product setup I'll go to configure screen and you see both of them got selected by default but anyway I can uncheck this but it will say select two options so whatever is default you can still deselect it if you don't want you can also see few things available this is the copy icon clone icon I can just click this and it will copy this particular option so let's wait Till it gets copied right and where can we configure that we can configure it over here you see it says allow cloning the whole text is allow cloning and it is checked so there is an option all over here right? so that's where we can configure about cloning part as well right so whether you want to clone that or not I'll just remove this out and we'll go over here I'll mark it as required so let's see what does that required mean so I'll just select it dead and I'll update the view I'll refresh the page again to get it select again so let's see product setup I'll go to configuration and as soon as I come over here you can see this asterisk sign that means I cannot deselect this okay so that's the use of that required one okay then what I can do is I can show you one more thing this is quantity modifiable so I will just deselected it and I'll just save it I'll click on update view I'll remove the structure and I refresh it so what does that mean right so let's see what it mean so I'll just click on configure product what I can see over here is the quantity is one and I cannot change it okay so let's say if it is more than one quantity and you want to change it but you want to change it with something else right but you can't do it that means your quantity modifier box is 
untick right so that's where uh, you can use this tab okay i'll make this 0 comma 2 as i see some challenges over here to see in this one so i'll make it 0 comma 2 i'll just update the view and there is something called minimum quantity maximum quantity and default quantity so let's say i'm setting it minimum quantity as 2 minimum quantity as 3 over here maximum quantity as 5 maximum as 5 over here and again i'm adding default quantity as 2 and default quantity is 3 here for them and I'll just click update view now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh the page again and we'll see so over here we have defined this keyboard and mouse and on that level we have defined the minimum quantity and maximum quantity that means it's the minimum quantity for this particular product this is the minimum quantity for this product it is different from this this is the total quantity and this is the individual quantity okay so i'll go to product setup i'll configure the product and i can see the quantity is two but the only thing that we forgot to change is quantity modifiable so i'm changing that i'm clicking the update view i'll just remove the product and i'll do a hard refresh let's see what happened okay. sometime uh, caching might be there and you might be seeing the wrong thing so you can just do a hard refresh and then again check it out since we did the hard refresh and the caching is empty it will take some time to get loaded because few things are uh, cached in conga system so it will take some time when you do empty cache so i'll again go and configure this and let's see okay so here you can see now it is 2 right so if I select 2 by default quantity is 2 if I make it 1 then it will throw us an error and it says like keyboard quantity must be between 2 and 5 if I make it 5 that's fine as soon as I make it 6 it will throw us an error right so that's how your default quantity max quantity and mean quantity will work on option level as well as so over here we have defined minimum quantity as 3 but if I make it 2 I will get the error message if I make it 6 again I will get the message if I make it 5 then I won't get any message right so that is how the minimum quantity maximum quantity will work now what I will do is I will remove the stuffs right and we will see what that fixed one mean right so we have modifiable type fix and let's see what does it mean so i've marked this as required i'll make it as fix and i'll just update the view it got updated i'll remove this i'll do a hard reload and let's see what comes up when it gets loaded well, let's wait till it gets loaded as I talked about it will take some time because we have uh, removed the caching so it's loading now I'm on the product setup page I'll go with the configuration and as soon as I comes up over here you see everything got grayed out you see we have added keyboard right but now we can't change it right we can't change it because whatever configuration that we are having the modifiable type is fixed that means we cannot alter this configuration and that is what the use of this modifiable type fix so this is how you can utilize different types of options or functionalities available on the bundle configuration page i hope you have liked this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel also like the video share the content with your colleague right and help them learning please subscribe to my channel to get learning from this kind of video tutorial thank you very much